Where are you going? Hurry on, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to be friends, guys. I just want to be friends. Don't walk away. Come on. Come on, I just want to be your friend. The date is correct. It is March 30th, 2021 today. We had a snowstorm overnight. It wasn't too bad. They said it would be much worse. But here we are. I think the worst part of it is that it's super windy today. We're sort of sheltered in town here right now, but uh, I know the wind is gusting up. Oh, probably close to at least 60 kilometers an hour, 60 clicks or like, 40 miles an hour at least that's just my guess uh, I know out in uh, western Manitoba I saw the forecast yesterday for there saying that the wind was supposed to gust up to 90 kilometers an hour or 50 miles an hour so it's gonna be a uh, interesting day okay it's gonna be it's going to be a good day we're gonna find something good about it even if it takes us all day to find it and it's going to be good, right? It's cold. Just washed the truck yesterday, too. Manitoba just wants to remind us one more time, hey, you're still in Manitoba. You know, it may be a little warmer than usual, but here's a little snow just to put you in your place. I'm pretty sure this will be the last one of the season, I'm pretty sure. Next weekend's supposed to go up plus 20, or uh, past plus 20, which is, you know, upwards of 70 Fahrenheit, I think, somewhere up there. She's slippery. It is slippery. But we're gonna have fun, right? We're gonna have fun. I got my winter jacket with me. Got my winter gloves with me. We're gonna go do some some winter trucking in March, almost April. Every year, and we act like we're surprised every year. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Every year. The guy in front of me's got a burnt out tail light too. So it's harder to see him when the snow blows heavier. We're a little bit sheltered now, but. Check your lights. Oh, here we go. We're, we've got a break in the wind. I'm hoping all this snow will be melted by tonight. Oh, and we're on sheer ice. Wonderful, wonderful. This is going to be a good day. Oh, oh, it's slippery. Whoa, do you see that? All right, don't touch the accelerator on the ice. Don't touch the accelerator on the ice. Oh, man, there's going to be some bad accidents today. I hope you guys all made it to where you were going safely if you're in the area or across the prairies. All the Canadian prairies got this same weather. I think Saskatchewan got it worse than us. It's very windy. The wind's coming from my left out of the west there. We're headed north. And it wants to push me off the road. It makes me a little nervous when we go over these icy patches because it's, it's very, very easy to start fishtailing if you don't know what you're doing. I really hope that there's not going to be any bad accidents on here, on this road today. I really hope everyone's gonna be safe. For once, I'm not being tailgated. Well, actually, for the weather, I am being tailgated. 
but uh, usually on the way to work there's usually a big lifted truck or something that's just right up my my tailgate see this is all sheer ice right here sheer ice I found the tractor apparently they just unloaded it for now I guess they needed the trailer for something else and this probably doesn't need to be delivered for a while sometimes we do this sometimes we pick up freight that doesn't actually they don't want it delivered for a while so we just got to hold on to it until uh, the delivery date sometimes not often but I've noticed it in the past I keep wanting to say that today is going to be a miserable day I wish I could uh, What's this guy doing now? <laughs> How far back are you backing up? I wish I could share with you guys how windy it is. It's really windy and cold. What is this? I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, he's going that way. Okay. That was a really wide, interesting way of backing into that spot. <laughs> no idea what he was doing. Okay, let's go start up the old girls, get her warmed up. We got some trucking to do today. It's gonna be windy, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be snowy, it's gonna be icy, but it's gonna be a good day, right? Keep saying it, keep saying it's gonna be a good day. It looks like the good Lord has smiled on us just a little bit this morning. Usually first thing in the mornings, I come into work, I get the truck warmed up, and I check in with our deck division and uh, see what they have for us in the morning. It's usually my routine. And then in the afternoon, maybe I switch over onto vans and I help them out towards the end of the day. At least that's what I was told my routine is supposed to be, and that's, that's pretty much what it's been. Uh, this morning, the van division has snagged me. And I gotta go hook up to a van trailer and uh, go get the paperwork as soon as the truck is warmed up here. Thank you, God. I was really not looking forward to strapping and tying down loads in this weather. <laughs> See, it's gonna be a good day, I told you. It's gonna be a good day. I'm not sure if you can see the wind right now blowing past our trailers over there. It's hard to pick it up on the camera sometimes, but the wind is gusting between 60 and 80 kilometers an hour, which is about what? What is that? 40 to 50 miles an hour somewhere. And it's it's pretty windy, and it's it's a biting cold too. So uh, not that I don't like being on deck division. Uh, great people to work for. Great people all around here. I like everybody here. There isn't anybody here that I that I don't get along with, and uh, I don't mind doing that. But just. On a, on a morning like today, it's a nice little treat, I guess, to uh, not have to stand out in the cold. So I don't mind the deck work at all. Uh, I sort of like the freight that we haul in the in the vans better, though. Just for me, my own personal, uh, I guess, likes and stuff. Because in the enclosed van trailers, that's where we haul, you know, the ATVs, the, the cool cars, and stuff like that. And I like seeing that every day. I like, I like hauling that kind of stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I like the challenge of being on open decks too, and I, I like the roll tights. I like working with those that make it really easy. Though on a day like today, it wouldn't be very fun. So I'm very thankful that I'll be on uh, that uh, Van Division snagged me up this morning. Thankful for that. But you know, on a normal day, uh, even if it's cold, but as long as it's not windy, I don't mind doing the decks really. It's uh, I like doing both. As long as it's like a mixture of both. I like to do something different every day. That's one great thing I like about this job is that every day it's something different. You know, it's not the same thing over and over and over. That would drive me nuts. I don't know if I could do that. I mean, I would make myself if I had to, but I don't know if I'd be as happy. I love what I do now. I'm very happy. Very happy. I, it doesn't feel like I'm going to work. They say if you love your job, you don't work a day in your life. Right? And that's sort of how I feel. I, I really love my job. And I love the fact that I'm able to share it with you as well and that I've uh, gotten an agreement with them to be able to share 
my life here as well, sort of show what we do here. Maybe attract a bunch of you to come and work here with us. That's that's what we would love to see. We're hurting for drivers. Of course, we need drivers. You're gonna hear me talking about that in videos. Come out, I'm gonna try not to swamp you with it. Owner operators, we're always looking for owner operators. If you have your own truck, you have a good attitude, you have a good driving abstract, you got two years experience. If you have your own truck, I'm assuming you have two years experience already. Uh, you're able to legally work in Canada, able to cross into the US, all that stuff. There's probably a position for you here. I don't know, I could, uh, we could find out for you. But there's a, a, a recruiter here, it's called Max. You can go to the website, uh, keystonewestern.com and get a hold of him. He's the guy with all the knowledge. He knows what we need right now and he knows all the numbers. Okay, enough chit chat. It's time to go.
guessing those flags are expensive. But it's important. Gotta get that fixed. They got those golf carts off in a hurry. That was quick. Two levels worth. I think there's what, 26 in here? Probably more than that. Maybe more than that. So now I gotta put these floors up. I have more freight to go pick up with the same trailer, but uh, we need the whole trailer. We can't have this second level in here, so. Time to get to work. There you go. Everything's all put away at the front. Floors are put up. Now you got a regular trailer again. That's what I meant the other time when I was telling you guys that some trailers out there, they actually do make trailers where the second floor is powered and it automatically, like you can just push a button and it goes up and down. But those trailers are very, very heavy and you can't use them for anything but that. These trailers, all of this extra equipment adds about 1,500 pounds to the trailer. Depending on whether it has the belly box or not, that adds a little bit in there too. But yeah, all those floors all put away. And you can still haul pretty much anything you want in here that would that you usually would. Like we, we put up to 42,000 pounds in here. I might have to double check that because I think usually you'd be able to put 44,000 pounds into a trailer like this but because of the that weight at the front there I think we max out or stop at 42,000 I'm pretty sure or is it more around there anyways 2,000 pounds less than you would normally haul just because of the 1,500 pounds there just gives an extra little bit of 500 pound wiggle room because everybody always tries to load more than they say they will right so we say a certain number, they'll usually go at least 500 pounds over. Sometimes they'll try to put on 2,000 pounds extra on top of that. All you drivers know what I'm talking about. And you go there and they tell you, okay, it's going to be this way. It's going to be 40,000 pounds. They load it up. You scale. Hmm, look at that. They put 41,000 pounds on you. You got any sneaky shippers out there. <laughs> so you got to be careful with that because you got a little bit of extra weight. But yeah, it works great. And it's super quick. I mean, I can put this whole floor down or put it away in 20 minutes, maybe less. I never timed myself before. Maybe next time I'll time myself. All right, picking up a roll tight rental. Somewhere at the back corner, he says. He says, go all the way to the end, hang a right, and it'll be back on the left side. Six seven one two eight. Six seven one two eight. Roll tight. I see some green roll tights down there. That looks fun. Changing it up a little bit. I like it. Different colors. Usually we just have the blue ones. Except those are ours, I think. at 
the end here. Okay, so it's got to be one of these. Oh, great, there's some geese. Oh, I'm going to have to get in a fist fight with a goose for my trailer. Get out of here. They're underneath the trailers. They're on the left. Look at them. Get out of here. I don't want to fight you right now. I got stuff to do. Geese are violent. Okay, so this is 70127. What did I say I was looking for? 67128. Crazy geese. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He's gonna attack me, I know he is. You know that Canada geese mate for life, so that's a husband and wife. That's why it's always sad to see one get that got run over on the highway. Hey, you just gonna sit there? You gonna taunt me? Better not attack me when I get out of the truck. Oh, there's a whole army of them over here. Oh no. Oh, you got backup. <laughs> well played. Well played. These geese, they will attack you. They will attack. <laughs> All right, this is my trailer right here, too, right beside them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, everybody. I'm a friend. That's right. Walk the other way. I will mess you up. All of you. I'll take you all on one hand tied behind my back. bunch of them. Excellent. Oh, these guys are still over here. They're all by themselves. Look at this. This is our trailer, and I've got to do the walk around on it. There's two geese right there looking at me. Come at me, bro. What you gonna do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah? Look at them. How's it going, eh? Yeah, you walk away. You walk away, tough guy. Where are you going? Where are you going? I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I'm just trying to make friends. So, lights are, lights are working back here. The trailer is empty and clean. Oh no, I can hear him telling all his friends over there about me. There's a crazy guy with a camera over there. Watch out, eh? Let's get him. there. They're all hanging out. Oh, they're over there. See? I just want to talk. I want to make, I want to make some friends. I just want to be friends, guys. I just want to be friends. Don't walk away. Come on. Come on. I just want to be your friend. Story of my life, man. Okay, okay, so I'm being a little bit over dramatic. What? I'm trying to sell you a vlog here. The geese aren't that violent. They're very libertarian. They just do their own thing and they want you to do your own thing. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. However, if they feel uh, the need to just walk across the highway, they got wings, but sometimes they just want to walk across the highway. Uh, they will take the liberty and just walk across. And they don't care if you're honking at them, coming at them on the highway in a big truck. They're, they're just gonna keep walking. What was this? Oh, I thought this was my new directions. I just hooked up to this trailer now. Yeah. 
But uh, if you do mess with them, though, this is this is where it comes in. They won't mess with you unless you mess with them. If you chase them or like uh, uh, make them feel threatened in any way, they'll turn around and they'll jump at you and they'll start swatting you with their wings and biting you with their with their beak and they will attack you. And they've been known to attack small children that aren't really aware of the fact that that could happen because they're just birds, right? You just want to, just like this now, like I wasn't threatening them at all. I was just sort of uh, following them, I mean, They don't, they're not going to bug me for that. But if I were to start running at them, uh, like a kid might, like a child might run after them, right? Because it's fun. They're having fun. They're playing games, chasing a bird. They'll see it as a threat. They'll turn around. They'll actually start attacking the kid and it'll probably traumatize the kid. <laughs> like they're not lethal. I, I don't think that they could be lethal, but they could probably do some damage. I mean, if they peck you right in the eye, I mean, there's that risk, but other than that, though, they're just gonna pinch you with their beak and maybe like try to knock you out with their wings and stuff and scratch you with their with their feet. I don't know what would happen. I don't know. I've never gotten a fight with one once, but go on YouTube, okay? After you're done this video, <laughs> go to the search bar and type in Canada goose attacks or attack of the goose or you know goose attacks or something. <laughs> you're gonna laugh your butt off there's a lot of uh good footage of that they it happens a lot of them around here at this time uh they're all looks like they're all just hanging out here just trying to keep warm because uh this unseasonably cold day but like i said before a fun fact about canada geese is they mate for life with they're monogamous they mate for life with one mate so you always see them in pairs you see there's a pair over there there's a pair over there over there they're sort of, sort of sitting in an all, all in a big group over there maybe those maybe that's the singles club over there i don't know could always be the singles club here's a pair over here just walking over here another pair over there that other pair is there it's like a husband and a wife and it's it's very sad when uh one gets run over because then the other one's all alone so it is actually i i think it's illegal just to obviously obviously illegal just to run them over on purpose so if you see them on the roadway, be careful or near the roadway because they don't fly over the road like a normal bird like these guys over here that just flew over my truck. No, they don't care that they got wings. No, they're just going to walk straight across using their feet right across the highway in single file. Not like all rushing across the road. No, leisurely in single file. Don't mean to interrupt the singles party here, but uh, I've got to roll through. <laughs> to the side of the driveway. Don't walk down the middle of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, is this guy gonna take me on? You see how much bigger I am than you? They've got their little pigeon friends hanging out with them. There you go, see your wings do work. How about that? Excuse me. Guys, you guys, get out of the way. Okay, so uh, last part of the day there went pretty quick. We picked up that rental and uh, went and loaded it up with about 10 feet of freight and Stonewall, brought it back here and uh, we're moving it onto a different trailer. So I'm taking that same roll tight rental that we had yesterday uh, and I got two pickups tomorrow. One in Toulon, one in Arburg, uh, up north of Winnipeg. and. Uh, We'll, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> That's my assignment for first thing tomorrow morning though. 7 a.m. I'll be here, hook up, and we can start moving that way. But for today, all the trucking is done.
Look at this yard. Look at this yard. What a difference one day makes. Diesel, it's winter again. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Fina? Fina, this is not how I left things. What did you do? I know. I know. <laughs>